single max trade yesterday went on to do uh, pretty good uh, pretty good profits but this was one of the better ones of course it was a ticker sim remember we talked about it the immuno precise antibodies limited company yeah that one well the buy was at six dollars and eighty cents seven dollars and it traded a high print yesterday of sixteen dollars and forty cents eventually so um that's called a rip that's called a rip guys and it was a this is the, the important part is to get the open correct isn't it it's vital we get the open part correct because if we miss the trade it's sometimes gone instantly it's gone in a flash at times so at the open at the open we're always watching for the first rejection of something a lot of the time the price goes straight up and it's a momentum buy if you can jump straight on if it opens at the open and it starts going straight up you try and just go straight in for a buy there's no limits you buy whatsoever is available within a few ticks of the of the opening you put your stops at break even as quickly as you can say booyah kasha but what happens a lot of the time is the price sells off the open because there's a lot of people taking profits we hope it sells at the off the open the reason why we hope it sells off the open greg is because we want to see whether anybody buys it. We want to see if anybody buys it. A momentum isn't a buy trade for us because it's just a withdrawal of liquidity by the market makers at that stage. It's far better if it sells at the open because then we get to see that the buyers are still in at higher prices because somebody's made a, an actual decision to buy this terrible product at higher prices. Somebody's actually actively buying at higher prices. It's not just because of a withdrawal of liquidity and a, a lag behind the uh, the uh, the pre-market, right? So that's what happened on the open here. Look, somebody bought. Somebody stepped in at the open to buy the selling right there. That's what I really want to see. That's better than any momentum right there. Somebody bought the stupid, dumbass price into profit taking selling that's got to be an insider somebody must know something about that stock because it's stupid it's a stupid buy in most cases it's a terrible buy this stock was trading the previous day at five dollars what the hell would you want to pay seven dollars for it for that's madness but somebody did but somebody did that's what the open tells us Somebody did pay stupid, dumbass money for this stupid, crappy stock. They must think it's not as crappy as everybody sh uh, makes out, right? And that's why we then come into this. We start seeing that buying at the open, and they, we go, wow, that's a surprise. And from that $7 humble beginnings, this crappy stock then rips higher all the way through to the first target price at $10. And then it rips higher again, and we get another opportunity to buy off that because somebody's still buying this, even at the target price. The target price, the price sold, as you would expect, because we sold at that stage. The price went through it, and I thought, damn it, we've missed it. So hopefully the idea is that it'll pull back. It did pull back, and we bought into it again at 10 bucks, And then it ripped to $16. It ripped to $16, look. And you can see there was the big drop off in volumes and then the exit volumes at that stage were right there. And that was us exiting that uh, trade right there at that point. You can see all the exit volumes. And that's it, it's finished. And obviously once that exit volume comes in, the price collapses back down behind it in the pre-market. Look, well, it doesn't, it doesn't collapse down behind it, but it's went from $17 back down to, to $9.40. Um, so you get the basic idea. It's pretty much a collapse in price, isn't it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys.